Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the last module of uh, uh, UI which is the module 5 and here we will be learning the 7 super important questions which are most expected from the externals and if you watch this video till the end you will get to know all the concepts which you need to know for scoring full marks in this module and um, the 5th module consists of mainly about the uh, controls and the buttons so at the last we have something about the prototypes and test we will be discussing everything in depth so stay tuned till the end of this video and before starting make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and before uh, and without wasting any more time let's get started the first question which is about the buttons what do you mean by a button a button is nothing but uh, something like this which uh, if you click it will do something okay that's all what the button is and the official um Definition is given here square rectangular shaped control with a label inside that indicates an action to be accomplished Okay, and you have to write three types of button after writing this description. I'll be directly going to the um, Images these are the three types of button which we uh, come across. This is the command button command button means if you do click it It will perform some execution or the operation The second one is toolbar with a button without labels here will be having some icons it, If you click it, it will give it more information regarding that Okay, that type of button is called toolbar without labels The last one is a symbol button like at the top of the screen you'll be having minimize uh, and X button and the maximize button all those things are the uh, symbol buttons okay so this is what you have to write in the uh, script regarding the buttons these three buttons and the definition in the same way we have the about the text controls as well the text control can be of three types text boxes can be uh, containing the text which can be only read it cannot be modified okay and it can be single line if it is a single line if it's multi line it is called multiple uh, line text boxes the uh, rest are the one of them is the captions caption will just uh, indicate some information regarding whatever we have the descriptive information of whatever we are going to perform and the last one is the fields in fields we will be having the modification boxes we can enter some in, uh, we cannot enter any information it's just for the uh, referential purpose okay so these three were the text controls moving on to the third question we have the selection controls here we have totally six selection controls very simple you just need to do the diagram and how can you make it more beautiful that you have to explain in your own words like for example the first one is the radio button radio button the unique feature of radio button is that you can just select one option at a time you cannot select multiple options okay so these are the different types of radio button you can draw the diagram for filling the contents next you have the checkboxes you can have multiple um, options selected so that's what about the checkboxes how to select the checkbox if you select what will happen if you click any button it will uh, put an x if you don't click it nothing will be output if you just hint at something it will be just uh, highlighted like this and so on all the things you can write in your own words moving on we have the palettes we, it is used to select the colors that type of uh, menu is called the palettes and list boxes will have a list inside a box and you'll be selecting one of those options for your execution purpose and the last two are the list view controls and the pop down um drop down and pop up list boxes these are drop down it will be like this and pop up will just come like a pop up and list view controls will be having the controls or in the form of a list you'll be uh, using that to control it okay so these are the just key for keywords which i'm telling you you have to keep this in your mind and elaborate no own words for more information go through the theory part <coughs> So this is the uh, drop down list boxes for the uh, option for the country okay moving on we have the fourth super important question which is about the slider tabs and spin boxes this is the most repeated question in the module 5 what is a slider slider is nothing but you'll be having an option like this right uh, upper arrow and the down arrow and here will be having some number if you click the up arrow the number will be increased by one if you click the down arrow the number will be decreased by one this is called the spin box so what is its benefit and all everything you can write here how it looks like how it can be modified to make it more better all the key points i mentioned here go through it Slider is nothing but we'll be having a slider here and the range will be given you'll be sliding this ball till here and again you'll be sliding back whatever range you want to set you'll be setting that that is known as a slider the last one is the tabs and the tabs will be having a separate section of the pages it will be showing you which page is present in which part of the web and all those things will be uh, described by the uh, tabs the more information is given here you can go through it Moving on, you have the presentation control. The presentation controls can be of many types. A few of the types which you can uh, remember is the static text field. How are things getting presented? That is called as presentation control. Static text field is a very simple thing. You'll be having just a uh, text field like this. Okay, it will just display the text. Group box means there will be group and there will be boxes in that. The boxes will contain some information and it will be of similar kind. That's why it is called as a group. Column headings will contain the column headings, obviously, and the tool tips will be containing a tips for whatever we are going to select. Balloon tip will be like this. It will be selecting uh, it will be showing some information in the form of a balloon and you'll be having the information which you'll be applying here and writing some value there okay that is called as a balloon tip 
progress indicator is also the mostly used uh, thing which will be giving us information of how much the progress is done you can use this in your answer script as well sample box is just a sample box which will contain some text and finally we have scroll indicates uh, the scroll indicates is nothing but you will be having a text which will be scrolling through one part of the screen to other part of the screen mostly in the uh, government websites or the railway websites all those things will be visible right or the text will be flowing like this that is called as scrolling tickets okay so this is the different ways of presentation of uh, something that is called as presentation control moving on to the sixth super important question we have the prototypes in ui design you have to remember the four more important uh, most important prototype which is the hand sketches and scenarios you can uh, construct a design by using your hand only what is the advantage disadvantage you know better than me what is interactive paper prototypes it is the uh, digital prototypes which will be having a paper in the screen and you will be using that for uh, designing the stuffs and programming facets and pro program oriented languages will be using the programming languages and the digitally designed apps and tools for designing the uh, user defined uh, interface and the prototypes and all of these prototypes will be finally compared and the best one will be chosen according to the context so for, uh, for more information i've chosen a few key points here you can go through it for more information and moving on to the last one we have the kinds of tests means once our app is made or once something is made how do we test it that's the main um, question uh, which is asked here the few of the techniques is guidelines review you will be reviewing the guidelines whatever is present there and you will be evaluating those guidelines by using some heuristic values heuristic means the important function will be there the key points is there is that key point present or not what is advantage disadvantage all those things are present in the heuristic evaluation cognitive walk tours the people will be joining together in the form of a group they will be walking through the prototype from the step one till the step end they will be noting down all the important concept what is uh, to be mentioned what is to be modified what is not well what can be made more simpler what can be added and removed from the app so that it becomes more uh, efficient how it can be made more efficient and how to reduce the errors and the time taken and how can we make it more faster how can it be more beautiful all those things if you keep on thinking you'll get, keep getting the concepts you have to write until you uh, until you fill most of the answer script okay think i uh, think allowed evaluation by the name itself you can sign think allowed think and make it allowed how you'll make it allowed you can make it allowed by using your mouth you have to tell it whatever you think about it you have to tell it and all those things will be noted down by a separate team whatever the options you'll be telling what are the changes you are telling all those comments will be analyzed and uh, noted and documented and that will be uh, used for the further evaluation that is called as think allowed evaluation usability test you will be giving the test to the users who will be actually using it and whatever the information they will be giving back to you that is a very relevant information and by using that you'll be able to know if it is good or not then we have the classic experience in the classic experiments you'll be using some tools and techniques to identify what is the disadvantage what is the advantage and how the things can be made more better the last one is the focus group it is a group which focuses by the name itself you can understand it is a group which will be sitting together it will be focusing on the different aspects of the screens and it will be uh, telling you what is the important thing and not important thing it will be uh, noting down all the things in detail and the discussion will be done so that the best of the uh, version will be out uh, soon so the more information i have uh, written here you can go through it that uh, description will have written if you want more information you can go through the uh, theory video or you can uh, watch the i mean the uh, textbook okay i mean you can read the textbook in that it is mentioned in great depth okay so make sure you all know all these questions very well and before going make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one